I'm Jenny Rosenstrack. I'm the author of Dinner Love Story based on my blog of the same name. I'm a working mother of two and I believe that dinner can be a love story. I know it can be stressful. I know there are so many things you have to deal with to help make family dinner happen. You have picky eaters and you have busy schedules and you don't know what to cook, but I'm gonna show you some ways to make it easier. The most important way to make family dinner happen is to have a plan. I always have some sense of what I'm gonna make during the week, so I write down everything I need and that way I save time, I save money, I have a targeted mission. The first thing I always do when I come to Whole Foods is check out the Whole Deal Flyer because it has the week's best sales and there's always something on there that I need. And it's a great thing to do. You look at what's on sale and then stock up on what you need. So here we are in the produce section and I think what a lot of people don't realize is that you can find some of your best deals at the front of the store. When I walk in, I almost always look at what's on display because what's on display is gonna be in season and I like buying things in season. The other thing about the produce section is that it's really easy to overshop. And this comes back to having a meal plan. If I know what I wanna make, then I buy less, and I throw less away, and I end up saving money. What I love about Whole Foods, and what I don't think a lot of people realize, is that you only have to buy what you need. For instance, with melon, if you only want half a melon, you only have to buy half a melon. You can ask anybody in the produce department, and they'll cut the exact amount you need. And they'll use the rest for fruit salads or prepared foods, and nothing goes to waste. This is my favorite part of the store. It's the bulk section, and it's really easy to save money here because I don't spend extra on packaging. I buy only what I need, and my kids love it here. I usually just buy a big batch of barley or quinoa or some grains. I make a batch in the beginning of the week, and then I dole it out all week long for side dishes, for cereal, for soups. There are just so many options. In the meat and seafood department, shop the sales. Good to have a plan, but it's also really good to keep your options open. If there's a sale on chicken and you're gonna make beef, make the chicken instead. And also look for the family value packs because whatever you don't use, you can just freeze for later. I call the freezer a working parent's best friend because you can stock up on stuff and then there's always something there when you need it. Another thing is if you're cooking with fruits or vegetables that may be out of season, check the freezer aisle because a lot of times you're gonna find a better value. You know those displays at the end of every aisle? They're called end caps and they're not there by accident. A lot of the time you're gonna find great deals, special promotions and things that are in season, so I always make a point to check them out. When you're at the cheese counter, don't buy it unless you're sure you're gonna like it. That doesn't mean don't have fun, it just means ask someone behind the counter for a taste of something. They're happy to give you anything. That way you're sure you leave with something that you like and you get a little snack along the way. I know getting family dinner on the table is stressful and shopping for dinner and planning your dinners, but it's worth it. And I believe that there's no better way to end a day than sharing a meal with people I love. So I hope this has been helpful.